engineers written the Verilog program, they will send that to the verification engineer. Okay, now we'll see actually how the process will happen. Okay, see. So, what is the verification approach in VLS? What is mean? First, design specification. We'll get a design specification. Already, the design engineers will design that thing. RTL is ready. Okay. For that RTL, we need to verify whether the RTL is working correctly or not. Whether all the blocks are interconnected correctly or not. Okay, whether all the signals are going correctly with the alternate uh, path or the block, whatever the specification is there, is that cor uh, going correctly or not? We need to check a design. Okay, so a verification plan will be written according to the design specification. Okay, how the verification plan will be written in design spec, there will be a lot of blocks will be there. Thousands of blocks will be there. Okay, each team will take one one block. Okay, suppose the one team will take a memory block, one team will take NBIO, one team will take a south bridge, one one team will take some uh, uh, DFD, DFT, like that. Okay, one one block will be assigned to the every uh, every uh, team. The verification will plan will be written accordingly for every block. Okay, after writing the verification plan, verification plan means what, uh, how can we approach the design? What are the different test cases we can put? What are the various scenarios we can uh, verify the design? That is nothing but verification plan. According to the new features, we will plan a, uh, like a, a Excel sheet. Okay, that is nothing but a verification plan. Okay, after writing the verification plan, according to your design specification, you will send it to the project manager. Okay, the project manager have to check all those things, whether these scenarios are working correctly or not, according to your design spec. Can you, uh, if you use this scenario, is it possible to verify the feature or not? Okay. In this scenario, you can verify the feature or not. All the things the project manager will check the head okay after if all it is correct he will send to the, the uh, verification engineer once the project manager get the approval he will send to the verification team okay for every verification team there will be a design engineer team under that okay without the design engineer team they won't proceed because whatever the doubts they have they need to approach the design engineer team. Okay, there will be a design engineer team before verification team. Okay, in every verification team. So, now the verification team will see what is the verification plan and they will allocate to the all teams. Okay, in verification team also there will be sub teams. Okay, in every sub teams there will be pressures and experience. Experience engineers will develop the test cases. Whereas fresh engineers will just write those test cases, just they will test those test cases. Okay, so uh, test case development is nothing but it, it may be SV, it may be UVM, it may be uh, C test test, whatever the test cases will be developed according to their plan. Okay, once the test cases develop, they will do the debugging. Debugging means what according to their uh, uh, test case how the error is fixed how the bugs are fixed okay they will approach like that they will do the debugging for the design one by one they will clear all the bugs okay once they fix once they fix all the bug, bug, uh, bugs they will send to the verification plan to the design feature design engineer again why maybe in the design again uh, there will be new upgrade features if there are any new upgrade features or there okay uh, again verification engineer have to verify those upgrade features and all so they will up, uh, approach the design engineer once okay once everything is fine okay they will send the 100 percent coverage report 
to the manager. The coverage will be checked. Functional coverage, cover, uh, code coverage is there. Those things will be checked by verification engineer and they will send to the manager. Okay, manager will approve after 100% coverage. Once 100% coverage done, they will send the pre, uh, pre silicon verification done. Okay, this is the verification approach. Once pre silicon verification done means they can send to the physical design. Physical design, manufacturing, everything, uh, it will go on. Okay, but in every step, uh, there is a uh, big process is there not uh, simply like this uh, how i can say that is not that much of simple there are verification steps there are a lot of steps involved uh, internally okay in pre silicon post silicon uh, in middle of the testing validation okay those are uh, many things involved internally but this is the approach okay did you got the clarity Hello, have any doubts? Are you there? We are there. Okay, have any doubts? Are you understanding what I am telling? Please talk. Please uh, um, don't uh, feel shy. Okay, please talk. If you talk now, you can uh, crack your interviews very easily. Okay, uh, very easily because uh, they will see mainly your body language, how you are speaking, uh, how uh, how much fluently you are speaking, how is your attitude. Based on that, first you will get job. Next, anything, knowledge or whatever. Okay, first you need to talk whatever you know or you don't know, just talk. Okay, if you ask so many doubts, that is good for you only. Even if it is a small doubt, don't think, okay, if I ask this doubt, other may think uh, uh, this and that. Okay, don't think like that. Whatever you have doubts, just ask. We are here to clarify. Okay, so tell me, is there any doubts? You don't have any doubts, please. Message or unmute and say like you don't have any doubts. Okay, I think uh, you all are understand. Okay, let me ask a question. What is mean by pre silicon and what is mean by post silicon? What is mean by pre silicon verification and what is mean by post silicon verification? Tell. If you tell fast, we can discuss more topics. Otherwise, we will discuss only few. Don't know. Don't know. Please okay. Yeah. Please. Yes, tell. Pre silicon will involve only testing process with any bug. Okay. Mm. But post silicon will not be having like that. We'll be doing you don't have uh, you don't have bugs in post silicon. You don't have really? bugs in post silicon. Maybe mm. we'll be not having bugs because okay. in. In pre silicon only, we'll be getting all the bugs and we'll be doing now. Okay. That allows 
the bug taking and all but post silicon will not be having all that we'll be doing an actual device here. okay okay see what is mean by pre silicon and what is mean by post silicon is nothing but pre silicon is a before uh, doing the physical process physical manufacturing process and all suppose this is the front end and this is the back end okay in front end this is called pre silicon that mean we are not dumping uh, our design to the silicon okay in that we are doing the verification what verification we are doing uh, this ip level verification we are doing using svn uvn okay so as he told that in post silicon we don't do verification that's wrong in every step in every step we will do the verification okay like uh, if you see if you go for physical design in physical design also in every step we will do validation testing and all we can't go uh, uh, without testing to the next step we don't know where we will get the bugs okay uh, he is telling that in post silicon in pre silicon we'll do the debugging in post silicon we don't do why we don't do maybe we will get the bugs like when we are doing the placement routing okay silicon validation there we can get the, uh, get the bugs and not right so after post silicon suppose this is my architect uh, this is my soc architecture even when the soc architecture get ready then also we will do the verification then also we will do the verification that is nothing but dfd design for debug design for debug okay that mean what we will do we will do suppose this is our soc architecture this is the physical architecture wait up suppose this is the soc architecture i am taking for this soc architecture i will just uh, uh, take a fpga here fpga is nothing but extra piece of hardware here i am connecting some extra piece of hardware here to check all the blocks of soc soc has different ip blocks different subsystem blocks right so by using a uh, by using this extra piece of hardware okay we are checking all the bugs of the design maybe in the in the pre silicon the bugs will be escaped we cannot find all the bugs in the pre silicon okay the bugs will escape that's why we will check those bugs in the post silicon by using the dfd dfd is a big team 